the Waldo Canyon fire didn't just change the landscape. It brought with it engineering issues that one year later led to these devastating floods. Post Waldo Canyon fire, we're getting more water coming off from the same storm of event that we did in previous years. Prior to the fire, this 72 inch culvert worked perfectly well for Waldo Canyon's runoff. But now with 18,000 acres of soil that can absorb the rain, the trees, rocks and other debris flow down, cutting this large channel before crashing into this culvert. Uh, we had a number of occasions where we had to close the highway, where we had debris and water on the highway, creating a very unsafe situation. That's why a million dollar project is now beginning to install a concrete culvert that's 10 times the size of this current one. This is not a foolproof system, but this is, culvert will be sized to handle the August 9th event. The project also includes a debris entrapment like this one at Glen Erie. There's basically a wire net that captures some of the larger debris and keeps that off the highway. For a few months, Highway 24 will be down to one lane in each direction. We've had this in the past where we get some 10 to 15 minute delays, but we think this is essential to get this going now and have a safer highway for, for this spring's runoff events. CDOT says it will also ease the flood patrols that close the road each time it rained. We won't have to be as quite as responsive. It won't be quite as sensitive to those quick thunderstorms.